Could Dayanidhi Maran's comment be something of a game changer? Could it change something on the ground? Could it amplify the effect uh, that the BJP is hoping it will be ahead of elections just nine days from now uh, in Tamil Nadu? Let's go across and see what experts think. Remember, the BJP is fighting an ambitious uphill battle to make a mark, forget about winning or losing, it's about making a mark, making some kind of a dent in Tamil Nadu, whether it is in vote share or a small couple of seats, who knows, we'll only know on June the 4th. But today's comment by Dayanidhi Maran has set the agenda, he's given many interviews, but the interview to India today is what the Prime Minister invoked, and now it has blown up into a full crossfire between the BJP and the DMK. Welcoming on to the news track, Rajat Sethi, political commentator and analyst, Narayan Tirupati, is State Vice President of the BJP in Tamil Nadu. C. Rajshekaran is advocate and founder of Voice of Tamil Nadu, and T.S. Sudhir is our resident political analyst. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you, all of you, for being with me. Sudhir, quickly coming to you first on this. You know, we've seen how words of contempt and arrogance in the past, uh, not very distant past, uh, you know, have had a strategic kind of political effect, you know, far beyond just the cheekiness of the moment. Uh, you know, we've yep. seen it. We've seen how well the BJP has milked that kind of thing in the past. Of course, Tamil Nadu is a very, very different kettle of fish. Uh, you know, the political dynamics of Tamil Nadu are uh, not comparable with other places where the BJP has found benefit from taking contemptuous comments and converting them into political capital. But what do you think about this comment? Will it have some kind of effect? Can the BJP, you know, really, really milk it this election? Well, uh, will this be the Manishankar Iyer mm. moment for the DMK? Well, I don't think so, given the kind of image that Anna Malai has projected for himself in the run-up to 2024. Now, he's known as the Singham officer. Now, for a Singham officer to play victim in this way, mm -hmm. I'm not very sure whether it will really find traction with a large section of the population, especially his admirers, who see him as someone to emulate, as someone who is a very fiery, courageous, dares to take on his detractors in that mm. way. So for him to continuously say that, oh, they called me by this name, may not really work. And in the uh, ecosystem of Tamil Nadu politics, we have seen that name calling is pretty much par for the course. Uh, we have been seeing DMK referring to him as an ardu, which refers to a goat. Uh, we had um, uh, senior leaders of the DMK saying that on the 4th of June, uh, we will have mutton biryani, again a jibe at Anna Malai. Mm. Anna Malai himself uh, used um, uh, a not very parliamentary, not very nice language for Kamal Hassan just the other day saying that he needs to get his brain checked. So in that sense, in the heat and dust of these elections, this has been the kind of language which is rather unfortunate. But whether this will really find, uh, I mean, this will be the issue on which the voters will vote, be it in Chennai or yeah. in other parts of Tamil Nadu, including Coimbatore, I'm not so sure. Mr. Raj Shekharan, good to see you back on the show. What did you think about this remark? You know, uh, Sudhir is right when he says that name-calling is not such an unusual thing in, on the political battlefield of Tamil Nadu. Uh, you know, Anna Malai himself, in reaction to this comment, has been quite combative and said that Maran is nothing without his surname, DMK is full of filth, etc., etc. He can't play victim, but the Prime Minister has projected this as a you know, an unacceptable attack on an IPS officer, righteous citizen of Tamil Nadu. What do you think? Uh, uh, Shiv, uh, I totally agree with T.S. Sudhir. <clears throat> and this name-calling uh, political uh, strategy, I would call, hmm. was created or was invented by BJP. First, they called Rahul Gandhi a papu. And they made it viral all over and made him papu, which he is not also. Both sides he have done proved it. to be... No, no, uh, I'll tell you. And again, coming to Tamil Nadu, Anna Malai, who was uh, an SP rank officer, resigned and came and joined BJP. Mm. He was made the president. All fine. That is their internal party matter. But here, fact of the matter is, Anna Malai has called the press media people. All 100 rupees, 200 rupees, wala, 500 rupees, wala. you take 1,000 rupees and you, you come and ask questions. He has made a humpty number of uh, name calling towards the press people, uh, senior journalists, okay. politicians, not only DMK, whoever uh, disagrees with the, uh, his point, he would say he is an unfit fellow. For example, T.H. Sudhir uh, uh, rightly pointed out, he made Kamala Hassan, a couple of days back, he called Kamala Hassan to go to a mental mm -hmm. He should be treated for... Uh, so he made some uh, very nasty comment against Kamala Hassan, of course. 
I have a different. I have not crossed that Lakshman Rekha of even uh, talking against somebody because I I am always uh, spoken against. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. With the limits. That is the basic decency we maintain in the political discourse of Tamil Nadu or anywhere in this country. Okay. But here, this this kind of language was invented, was manufactured, was spread only by BJP. But friends. but no no of but course, but you're saying okay I I get what you're saying but you're saying that this is also par for the course in in Tamil Nadu. Mr. Tirupati, before I go to Rajat, Mr. Tirupati, you want to quickly reply to Rajakaran? He's saying who is the BJP to try and play victim over uh, its state president being called Joker? Uh -huh. You have abused no. all people, including Annamalai has abused people. No, no. See, nobody plays any victim role here. As Mr. Sudhir said, it is the practice of uh, DMK and it is the tradition of DMK to abuse filthily the opposition uh, party. No, no. Sudhir said it's the power for the course in politics, not no, DMK. Power no, for the course in politics. No, I, I am telling you, it is the DMK which has been accusing filthily, personally, against all their opposition, right from Mr. Kamarajar. They called him a black crow. Okay. Crow. Huh? So they called him a black crow and they called him so many words, so many filthy words. And also they called the MGR as a Malayali. So calling personally uh, their opposition is not new. Whoever they feel that they are very strong, they are going to oppose them and there will be a challenge. Then the DMK will go on attack personally. I am, hmm. uh, I, am I, I am telling you that is the reason Mr. Annamalai has been abused filthily because they are afraid of Mr. Annamalai. Because he has exposed the DMK in the last two, three years. Hmm. But, you see, um, I cannot keep quiet when they abuse my uh, president. Okay, So, these people are villains. So, the villains will call, uh, you know, the um, the honest and straightforward people as jokers. So, Dayanidhi Maran is known for his abusing uh, filthily. In fact, he called, uh, he has asked in, in, in front of secretariat before an year at all, that uh, whether they are untouchable. That is okay. the same word he used. So we are not bothered about uh, how he calls us, but they should understand that this arrogance will come to an end because of anomaly. So this That's arrogant, uh, uh, let me bring Rajat uh, in on this. Uh, Rajat, what do you think about this comment? Because, you know, it's, it's gone beyond just a small little soundbite, uh, you know, that was in the early hours of the day kind of going viral on social media and then finally it exploded from the dais where the prime minister was actually speaking so the bjp obviously wants to make a big deal of it because we've seen in the past how you know arrogance and uh, this kind of contempt uh, you know against individuals has uh, you know has benefited the bjp uh, tamil nadu as you've heard from the experts here is a is a slightly different from everywhere else what do you think do you think it'll have some traction well um if I were to wear my strategic hat here, Shiv, in my opinion, what has happened in the past 20 odd days in Tamil Nadu is that mm. um, it was increasingly becoming some sort of a triangular contest. And if BJP were to, you know, really go out and win a few seats, they would want to pitch the battle against DMK much more aggressively, pit it against the DMK, DMK, BJP, make it increasingly a DMK, BJP war. Mm. Um, and it's only then that they would be able to relegate ADMK, which is a sharp rising force. Uh, suddenly we are seeing uh, them gathering a lot of crowds and, you know, doing bigger meetings. Yes. In my sense, uh, you know, BJP would want that and even DMK would want to attack BJP more uh, just uh, so that the BJP strengthens further and there's mm. further split of opposition vote. Uh, so I think, uh, you know, there is there is some kind of a calculus that you will increasingly see uh, from behind <laughs> the curtains to uh, DMK would want BJP to be stronger because that eats into uh, opposition vote and BJP would want certainly to be seen as the biggest enemy of DMK and mm. the Dravid, uh, Dravidian uh, votes out there and be that sort of only sole entity where people can seek refuge. Okay. So it works well, uh, but... Looking at the arrogant remark of Dayanidhi Maran, uh, he is, uh, even in 2019, it was India Today's platform where he said the same words against Kamal Hassan. Yeah, yeah. He said, who is Kamal Hassan? What <laughs> does he know about uh, politics? What he's, he's a stooge of Amit Shah. Derogatory. And look at in 2024, hmm. he in his constituency, the only yeah. person coming and campaigning for him is Kamal Hassan. Yeah, yeah. So this guy doesn't have basic shame, basic public etiquettes to, to you know, respect somebody uh, who knows tomorrow he might quit DMK and come into any other party. <laughs> He'll have to eat his own words. That's the whole problem. Yeah. Having a demeanor in, in, in public life is very important. Hmm. You cannot hmm. mock a person who has captured the imagination <clears throat> of not just the media, but yeah. the entire country. Tamil Nadu was somewhat disconnected with the mainstream country 
and it was Anna Malai who is acting as a bridge True. in that. And you just cannot simply say that who is Anna Malai and have a condescending attitude towards that. That clearly reeks of arrogance. And this is the symptomatic malice that the entire DMK is suffering from. And this is, Shiva, I'm repeating that yeah. people, the results might not showcase the hmm. anger of people against DMK is sky high. If the assembly elections were to happen in 2024, this whole party, the entire entire machinery would have fallen apart. But just that they still have two more years to course correct. I don't know if they will be able to do that or not. This is a very... But, uh, right now, this is coming because of that frustration. Very interesting perspective. Uh, Sudhir, you want to add to that? Uh, especially the interesting part. You know, see, we live in a kind of political milieu where intemperate remarks and abusive comments are... You know, not that surprising and, and, and quite frankly, Joker compared to many of the other far less parliamentary things we've heard uh, uh, is, is rather tame. But, but, uh, but, but the, you know, the arrogance and the uh, entitlement and the smugness and the, uh, you know, and the kind of j j just the, j just the self of, sense of entitlement in the comment made by, uh, by, by Diana Di Maran is a, is a different matter altogether. But this whole calculus of, of you know, M.K. Stalin wanting to divide the opposition further by, you know, perhaps giving an inordinate amount of importance to the BJP through, uh, you know, sort of strategic attacks of this kind. That could also be part of it, Sudhir. I'm not sure whether there was too much of strategy in the manner in which Dayanidhi Maran reacted <laughs> to Rajdeep in that interview. I think the whole purpose was to somehow try and mock Annamalai. Mm, and that mm. is something which the DMK has been doing. In fact, um, uh, TRB Raja, who is the state industries minister, uh, when asked to comment on something which the BJP had said, he said, I don't reply to children parties, essentially saying that they are loose change, yeah, all and yeah. sundry parties. I will not react. I will react only to the AIDMK, which is the main opposition party. So I'm in slight disagreement with what Rajat said. I think the DMK is trying to make it a bipolar contest between DMK and the AIADMK because under no circumstances it wants the BJP or the larger NDA to occupy the second position in many mm, of the local markets. Mm. So that would mean that they are in the reckoning as far as 2026 is also concerned. So the two Dravidian parties would really like the first and second position, the winner and the runner-up position to be shared between them and the BJP to be relegated to the third place in as many constituencies as possible. So the idea is either to mock them, the idea is either to ignore them okay. so that the race is between the uh, ARDMK and the DM. Okay. Uh, uh, Rajat, you want to quickly add to that before I go to Mr. Rajekaran? No, I mean, that's that's also uh, a fair assessment. I, I just feel that, uh, you know, uh, seat after seat, uh, what I'm looking at is that uh, uh, it, with ADMK's rise, uh, DMK, if it, it, it gets pitted against ADMK, DMK doesn't stand a chance. And I'm seeing that repeatedly in seats where there is more of a bipolar contest. ADMK seems to be doing better than DMK. Wherever there is a triangular contest, DMK is acing uh, past, uh, uh, you know, the two. Yeah. And this is like a general theme that I'm capturing. At the end, what, what is constant is DMK's vote share, which was 50% in 2019, is coming down by 15% mm. down to 35 36%. Mm. That's the assessment that is happening. And, you know, it's a fast depleting base. Remember, Tamil Nadu is not a normal state like any other state where Correct. public uh, voting pattern remains static throughout. It changes very, very quickly. Mm. And, you know, even a week's time is a long time in, uh, in, in the politics within the state of Tamil Nadu. That is why you see every five years... One, you cannot claim that this is my base. This yeah, is, these are yeah, my base yeah. seats because it can swing Correct. one way or the other in a whiff of a, a few days. Okay, I'll this get, is I'll... why everybody is very cautious. Okay, I'm almost out of time. I want to get final comments from uh, C. Rajekaran and Narendra Tripathi. Mr. Rajekaran, first to you. Sentiments constantly change. You know, the, the, the DMK wants to mock Anamalai and minimize him as much as possible. Uh, 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 but but this arrogance will come back. Uh, you know, to, 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 to bring some accountability on the DMK, including possibly in this election. Do you agree with that? Still, as far as my political uh, knowledge uh, in the last uh, three decades, I am in politics as a politician and yeah. a lawyer from Tamil Nadu. I have not seen an arrogant person like this ex-policeman Anamale. Honestly speaking, I have nothing personal against him. Hmm. He is the most arrogant politician in the making. He was helicoptered, he was uh, given, pampered by BJP, by giving him Z security, giving him, throwing him funds. Uh, every month he was sponsored some huge lakhs and lakhs into his account. He has been pumped in with all kinds of 
names and heroic versions. But he's energized the BJP in Tamil Nadu. That has to account for something, Mr. Rajakaran. The BJP is nowhere in Tamil Nadu. At least Annamalai has energized. Give me a second. No, give me a second. No, no, give me a second. See, the he he might have energized the right wing and the BJP members, which is three four percent, maybe eight nine percent also. I don't. You're being very dismissive. In a in a state that where sentiments change often. I am honest. I am honest. Let let me make I'll make the statistics. I'll give you the last word, Mr. Tirupati. Let him finish. See, the vote share DMK percent. The Muslim, Christian, Dalits, everything put together. So 45 to 50 percent is in favor of DMK as on date. That's why that's how arithmetic works. No, no, but and this is ADMK but this argument is not about sir. arithmetic, sir. That's the point I'm making. This no, no. this argument no, is please, about please, please, yeah, please, okay. please allow me. Twenty seconds. Please allow me. Twenty seconds. All this pampering and blowing out of proportion, saying that he is our neta. All this is fine. Yes, they are promoting. They are they are trying to make a um, uh, mountain out of a molehill. Okay, fine, okay. no issues. But last as minute, as I'll give the last minute to Mr. Durpati. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have a lot to respond yeah. to, but try yeah, and yeah, capture yeah, that yeah. in one minute. Shiv, Shiv, Shiv. Yes, Shiv. Uh, I don't want to, you know, answer for Mr. Rajshekhar because he is always personal against uh, Mr. Anna Malay right from the day one. We can see his tweets, so I don't want to, you know, I ignore whatever he said. Everyone but is being personal Shubhi, today, sir. No, okay, anyway. no, 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 yeah. I, I, yes, I'm, yes, not yes. I'm, I'm not I'm personal. Okay. I'm not personal. Raj Shagar is my good friend, but uh, he has been abusing Anamali personally. Uh, so I don't abusing. want to talk about it. Oh, my God. Ah, yeah, yeah, you have been. Uh, okay, as for Sudhi, uh, Mr. Sudhi had said, I think uh, Mr. Sudhi is uh, wrong by stating that uh, the DMK uh, is trying to, you know, uh, take uh, ADMK as a portion because even today, uh, you can see uh, Mr. Stalin has opposed, uh, you know, very hard against uh, the BJP. And uh, as uh, my friend, the other, other panelists said, uh, definitely the DMK is afraid of the, uh, okay. you know, the BJP. And Mr. Anamali, the young, a young, very beautiful, uh, energetic leader, he has created waves in Tamil <laughs> Nadu. And he has opposed the DMK to Tannai. He has exposed the DMK for the last say, okay, two years. Okay. And definitely, people of Tamil Nadu is with Mr. Anamalai and BJP. The great we will see. It will be a nine days to go. See, the good news, the good news gentlemen, there's only nine days to go. As I always say, as we count down closer to the election, all these discussions will become less and less relevant because ultimately, we hand over to the voters and then we see what really happens. So, we'll have to see how it happens. And I can promise you that all the people you see on your screen right now are going to be with us on this journey towards the elections because Tamil Nadu is absolutely exciting and we will continue to track it.